not just what you eat, but when you eat it, that makes a difference in how you feel and how you look. We all think about what we eat, get focused on, well, this food is high calorie, this food is low fat, this food is high carb, and make a lot of decisions based on what's in the food. And that's super, super important. I can't say enough about how important that is, how important it is what you eat. But what I want to talk about today is more the when you eat. My name is Dr. Rita Marie Lascalzo, and I'm excited to share with you how timing is everything when it comes to getting rid of your belly fat, clearing your brain, giving you the energy that you want and need, and making the inside of your body disease-proof. Timing is really critical, and people don't realize just how critical. There's a series of hormones that are cyclical in your body, and one of those is called leptin. And leptin has a peak right around dinner time and between dinner and bedtime. And when that peak happens and your body's receptive to that peak, your appetite goes away. Your appetite is at an all-time low. And ideally, your appetite should be at an all-time low right after dinner. You shouldn't have the munchies an hour or two after eating dinner which is what so many people tell me about. When you do, it indicates that leptin is out of balance. So there's a couple of tips I'm gonna share with you today. And these are things you can put into place right away. One of the things that scientists have found is true about leptin, is that if you eat carbohydrates too soon in the day, you cause that leptin peak to be sooner in the day and then it starts to go down. So after dinner, your leptin levels are low instead of high, and guess what happens? You get hungry, even though you've just eaten a full meal, a meal that's large enough to last you until dawn, whenever you get out of bed the next day. So there's two timing things I wanna share with you that will make all the difference in the world. Number one is avoid having a high carbohydrate meal in the morning. And what does that mean? Well, certainly toast, cereal, donuts, but even fruit, unless it's balanced with other foods like that have a little bit of fat and protein in them. It's especially important to have high protein foods in the morning. And that doesn't mean you have to have a steak or bacon and eggs. You can have greens a green smoothie. You can throw some hemp seeds in your green smoothie. You can have a green juice or one of those green powdered mixes. And you can add hemp seeds or ground up pumpkin seeds or protein powder to that mix. So starting your day with a higher protein meal and lower carbohydrate meal, but then quitting your food intake at dinner time. 12 hours should elapse between dinner and breakfast. And your body has these beautiful elaborate mechanisms to keep your blood sugar nice and steady. So your assignment for today, should you choose to take it, should you choose to do, be one step closer to your ideal you, one step closer to having a flat belly, a focused brain, an energetic body, that is, don't eat anything between dinner time and breakfast. Make sure that you leave three hours between dinner time and bed. And we'll talk in another one of these videos about the hormone balance and the hormones that get excited and start to do work for you, do wonderful work for you during the night. But only if you quit eating about three hours before bedtime. Mm -hmm.